Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Yesterday, ISRO added yet another feather to its cap with the successful launch of the HISIS satellite as well as 30 other foreign satellites. On the other hand, India's first fully private satellite is awaiting its ride aboard a SpaceX rocket. Should ISRO help India's private space players grow or should it focus solely on its big missions? Chris Nair, the founder of Exceed Space, which is sending India's first private satellite to space, says that India is a world leader in satellite launches and it was ISRO that actually planted the seed for a potential private ecosystem to grow. He says that a symbiotic approach will benefit small satellite startups as well as ISRO. And ISRO can actually help startups in various ways by either supplying subsystems or allowing the use of their facilities. Rachna Reddy, a space engineer formerly of ISRO, says that the development of domestic space industry and the growth of ISRO should not be looked at as a zero-sum game. Although ISRO does have its own domestic vendors for a lot of its missions, it is forced to import certain optics and semiconductors. Nurturing companies that can produce these resources for ISRO will also be beneficial to the organization itself in the long run. Sharad Sharma, who is an investor in Team Indus, one of the most prominent private space players in India, says that the most beneficial thing for ISRO to do is build a private ecosystem around it, considering ISRO itself is one of India's biggest success stories. He says that in India, we often fail to realize that solving societal problems is an active jugalbandi between private enterprises and public technology infrastructure. But all of this said, he says that it is important to remember that accomplishing a mission such as creating a private ecosystem will take time. Bhumish Khudkhudiya, a public policy professional, says that we have to stop reminiscing about ISRO in the 60s and 70s and start looking inwards into harnessing the untapped potential of the space sector in India. He says that we should also evaluate the geopolitical impact of Chinese advancement in space science and technology. He further states that there is a glaring absence of legislative and regulatory frameworks in the space sector in India, and Narendra Modi's vision of New India in 2022 will be unfulfilled if a new Space India ecosystem remains underdeveloped. This is Sandhya Ramesh, and to read more such expert commentaries, follow the print.